not too warm today. It's actually pretty ugly. Come on. Give me one second. Come on. Come here. One of the Harlequins. They have been flowering for I don't know, maybe between uh, yeah, I'd say between week week five and seven and a half, maybe. I'm not sure. Somewhere in that range. Um, I got it written down and all that, but you know, I don't keep that the notebook on me and all that. <clears throat> but anyways, this one has been. Uh, in the, in the greenhouse for most of its life, you know, I, I take it outside when it's a nice day, like in the 70s, some uh, past couple weeks, you know, there's been a number of days where it's been in the 70s, so I've been leaving uh, her outside, but yeah, in the last couple of days, they've really put on the weight and started to hit that lean, she's getting really wide, um, the flowers look really nice on this one, it's weird, this one, the greenhouse one, has, like, a, a lot more, like, the flowers are a little more, de like, developed. Not, I can't even say that. I guess they're a little more heavier on this one, you know, they have a nice sway to them and everything. Um, they definitely, you can tell they have some weight. So, that's always a plus. But, um, I'll show you in a minute. I got one um, growing indoors under a 400 watt. Just kind of experiment and seeing which one pulls out more weight. Because this has been growing for, you know, outside for the past, like, month and a half at least. So, you know, I'm just saying it's, you know, not spring even yet. So, you know, you could grow all year round. Um, I do it every year since I've been growing. Um, it's only been about two years that I've been growing. So, something like that. Um... So yeah, I'll just give you guys a couple more bud shots of this Harlequin, and uh, then I'll take you guys inside and let you guys see the other one. Pretty much identical, just this one. It's got more of an organic looking fade to it. Um, I've been giving them the same amount of food, you know, I've not been, um, they're not deficient on nitrogen, so... I don't want to hear anything about that. I know I know what my plants need when they need it. Um, I'm still learning. I'm not a pro. I'm not trying to act like a fucking, you know, snob or nothing, but, you know, I've been growing this strain since I started growing, so I kind of, I know what it likes and what it doesn't like. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that at that. Cut you down for a second. I'll crawl out of this fucker. That's the one thing I don't like about this one. I mean, it lifts up and down, as you guys can see. Just kind of pop it, pop it close, but right now I kind of just leave it down. So she's in there. You can kind of see her outline. I damn, I just dropped my phone. In there. I don't know if any of you guys are uh, active riders or anything, besides being active in the garden. Um, but I definitely, this is one of my hobbies. I love to ride. I just got this bike. It is a Yamaha YZ125, two-stroke. Um, it's a racing bike, but I trail ride with my boys. Um, has a lot of nice parts on it, um, these front forks, um, they're from a YZ 250 2009, um, got pro taper bars, M7 eighths, just a specific type of the, this brand, um, we got an hour meter, 
Trail Tech Hour Meter. This is a re new rebuilt top end. It's an Athena kit, 144, so now it's 144 cc. I got that pipe on her. That FMF Fatty Gold Series. It's a beast, can't even call it that a her. Fat pipe. Anyways, keep it going, keep it going. Gotta have the alpines. And tech booties. You know, when you're riding and shit, you gotta be suited up. It's just. It's not, you know, you don't have to, but uh, it's definitely recommended if you're serious type of rider and you get into that type of thing because when you're trail in the, in, in the middle of damn near nowhere or in the forest or wherever you know and you're just trail riding making your own trails and doing whatever you know shit gets shit gets crazy sometimes so you, know, you can never be too careful so you know you just want to be protected anyways though <clears throat> back to this back to uh, the ladies this is the other harlequin She's been indoors pretty much all of her life. Uh, the only time, you know, she isn't is when I take her outside when it's a nice day. Go hang out with the other Harlequin, their sister. <laughs> um, so, yeah. The only difference in this one, I, you know, you see these white hairs. She's got a lot more hairs. Um, and the other one seems to be maturing faster. This one still looks like it's growing and it wants more food. Um, this one doesn't have as much weight, but the, well, actually, it's actually putting on some weight in the last couple of days, but, um, yeah, actually, I'm surprised, so, it's always nice. Um, anyways, though, uh, I'm pretty much just thinking I might feed this one one more time, but I did start the flush for him, um, you know, they were on, I'm not sure, I got it written down, so I'm not sure what day they're on, but, you know, they're, they're getting close to that time. Um, they're, they're giving off a really nice smell, strong, strong, dank smell. Um, you know, they're starting to, their buds are starting to weigh, get weighed, weighed down and everything, so I don't know, they're packing on that last little bit of weight right before, you know, they're ready. But, uh, anyways, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. For them, I know I've been kind of not not keeping up to date with the, the plants. Um, might have been losing some viewers like that, but uh, you know, just know I'm back, I'm trying to uh, come back strong. Just show you guys some of my techniques and things that I do. Um, right now, you know, I didn't really show you any techniques, but you know, that's to come later. Uh, you know, I'm kind of just, I do the, these videos, you know, for just kind of for myself to look back at my plants and for other growers to look at my plants, you know, just, you know, kind of share information or, you know, if you guys have any questions, you could ask me, you know, I'm, I'm open to answering anything or any, whatever you have to say, you know, good or bad, just fucking say it, that's how it is, just be straightforward, I don't like people fucking, you know, not saying what they gotta say, but, uh, yeah, anyways, on another note, <clears throat> these Harleys are looking really nice. Very, very frosty.